Hi guys, George from Cypress Insight and today we're going down to the bolt trailer to repair it and I've got the wheels here I'm going to shoot down to the DIY shop and pick up an inner tube for that particular one I've got the grinder and some tools and we'll see what we can do So here we are back at the workshop guys our friends workshop and by the way if you need any iron work done gates or what have you give us a call or contact us and uh, we can organize that for you because this is our workshop and uh, my friends make all that sort of stuff gates and any metal work you want done right so we've been to the DIY shop and I've picked up a inner tube there it is, for this particular wheel. I can't find new wheels at the moment. So I've got these plastic ones, the old ones. So I'm going to use them again and put a new inner tube in this, hopefully. Right, guys, so I've cut a piece of 35mm copper. And I'm going to put that in there to reduce that down to this size. So they're both the same and I've managed to find another plastic wheel not from DIY shop that was eight euro sixty so that shouldn't go rotten the last one has there we are and I've picked up some of these little eyelets and I'll be welding them on the side of the trailer to keep the cover on and also to strap the trailer onto the boat while taking it out of the water and there's some cutters to cut all the rotten stuff away I also picked up some of this old pipe from the uh, dump it's brand new actually it's just all a bit uh, dirty and it's for swimming pools it's quite soft and that'll go on the bottom of the trailer to stop the boat getting scratched so my friends have gone down to the boat to pick up the trailer and they'll be here shortly and we'll unload that and get to work right, right guys keeping on the nautical theme we've got our friends boat here and this is a traditional fishing boat guys and uh, we've taken it out of the water and we've put some uh, fiberglass here you see and there's going to be a gel coat but today we're going to tip it over so we can work on the other side and once we finish guys we'll be launching this traditional fishing boat at Lil Bedry Harbour and we'll go out fishing so we're going to back up the van, we've got a chain tied to the boat and we're just going to pull it and tip it on its side. So there's the fiberglass, you see, there we are. So we've tied the chain, look, on a secure place in the boat, got a lovely old engine. And we've rubbed down the top guys we're going to repaint the top got a new gel coat and there's the bit where the uh, net goes down into the sea Anna. go on go on go on go on so we've got the chain here look go go whoa All right, slowly bringing it round, guys. Now it's straight. Right, let's get the uh, tires. Let's get the tires and take them round the front so it can rest on the tires, guys. There we are. Put the tires down. There you are. Right. So we've got the tires and we've got a big tire. Put the big tire in the middle. There we are. Right. Right. Put the truck forward. That's alright, that's a stand. Nice and slow. 
Right guys, there we are. Now let's see if we've got enough space. You there? Yep, we've got enough space down here guys. Brilliant there man. you can see where we're, we've rubbed it down. There we are. And we're going to put fiberglass on this, maybe over the weekend. Nice. So this bolt was given to Gostas by his granddad, you see. And he's uh, renewing it. Look at it, it's solid hardwood made the traditional old way and where's the tiller we've lost the tiller oh here it is guys there's the tiller there we are and the rudder so guys we're back at the workshop and i've made this front bit for the wheel look it swivels round and there's our trolley it's quite rusty so i'm just gonna rub it down a little bit before we can paint it and I've found this plastic wheel and that's going to go at the front so that shouldn't uh, get rusty that's perfect and then um, as I said before I've got this tubing and that's going to go here there we are along that bit there and that'll protect the bolt We've put our new plastic wheel on the front. I think that looks terrific. There it is. It swivels around a bit. We've painted the trailer and I've welded these little hooks on. There we are. That's to hold the cover of the bolt with. And just tie some rope around these hooks. There we are. And uh, repaired the wheel. I took this one guys to the local guy that does some um, tires and he took the tire off for me and he did a quite a big tool and they put a new inner tube in for me so I fixed that and put a little bit of bearing on there there's the other one that's fine that's back on and now we're going to put the plastic on top to pr protect the bolt so guys we fixed the trolley there it is and we've got this fantastic plastic wheel at the front it's all been painted and these hooks and the hooks are to tie the sheet up the cover later on and that'd be easier before we had these straps going underneath the bolt it's quite awkward but now we've got these eyelets that have welded on and we can strap the cover to the eyelets and uh, we fixed the wheels we've got a new inner tube and then we've uh, put this to protect the bolt this rubber okay and now we're going to take the bolt out over there and uh, we'll rig it up so guys the bolts rigged up we've had to uh, put some new rigging some more sheets and halyards there it is all rigged up and it's actually quite a nice windy day today so it should be a good day the the trolley's great except the other side now the uh, inner tube's gone on the other side so we'll have to fix that wheel we'll do that another time we'll try and launch it but don't forget to put the bung in I often forget there it is otherwise we'd be swimming there we are that's the bunk that's bunged up so is that so guys i think we're all set to go we're just making sure everything's okay and what we're going to do we're going to launch the bolt and then we'll try and fix this wheel here i did fix the other side i thought this one's okay but obviously not oh well never mind here comes uh, lennox with the rudder and we'll attach the rudder and then we'll be off right, guys we're back on the high seas we fixed our trolley but unfortunately the wheel at the front has broken off again and we'll have to repair that do a better job so me and Lennox are going out one of the crew and today we put the jib out can you see the jib the front sow and uh, Lennox is going to learn how to use the jib today it's his second time coming out sailing so he's going to learn the jib okay so there we are there's lennox yeah. and he's at the front 
and we're gonna head out apparently there's not a lot of wind today we'll try it out anyway here we are guys out on the open seas again and uh, Lennox has got the jib he's got the hang of it quite easy really we haven't got much uh, wind we had loads of wind this morning and loads yesterday now it's sort of calmed down a bit but it's just perfect guys just to stroll along along the coast now I can see the crystal springs on my left just over there and the new Paralimni Harbour so we're going to try and get to the Paralimni Harbour so I'll put the video on when we get there if we get there in this wind guys this has taken the helm now guys he's in control of the boat there we are he's got the tiller and we're just heading away from land a bit we're trying to go and get a little bit out now catch a bit of a wind and then uh, there's a couple of sailboats in the distance there and we're going to see if we can get to them looks like they've got a bit of wind up there and we'll get up there as soon as possible we're halfway there Lennox is still on the helm he's doing a very good job and uh, we're going to turn in a bit just going to head out a little bit get some more breeze and then we'll turn or tack if you like and get closer towards i think it was saint nicholas church yeah it was was wasn't it yeah. yep that's right guys saint nicholas church so here we are we're heading inland lennox has got the helm he's put me on the jib i think it's a damn right liberty <laughs> i'm a captain george so he's the captain now so guys here we are there's the crystal springs just behind us and we're heading towards uh, Syria I think and we're on this uh, tack and the next tack guys we're hoping it's going to take us down there to the new Paralimni harbour and that's what we're heading for where that big ship is nice job Lennox thank you so guys Lennox is uh, done yet another successful tack and he's heading straight for the new Paralimni harbour or marina should I say nice tack Lennox Thank you. you're welcome he's doing man overboard there's a man overboard Lennox yeah oh he's a big chappy isn't he yeah we're gonna ram into him there he is this way there he is well done Lennox Thank you. There's the man. Hold it there, it's nice and steady. Good bit of sailing, Lennox. Well done. Thank you. So, guys, we're really heading for it now. The wind's picked up. Lennox has got used to the helm. That's it. Keep it in the right direction. We're heading straight into the sailing club, guys. The wind's really picked up. It's about six knots and we're going for it. That's you know we don't fall. Yep. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, Keep it right. Same direction. Good. Excellent sailing. Well, guys, that was a successful trip. The wind really picked up. It's uh, really gusting now. And Lennox was uh, excellent at the helm, our new crew Mesmba. And we made it back just about now the trailer needs a little bit more work on it but uh, we're nearly there don't forget to like and subscribe and if there's somewhere you'd like me to go put it in the comments below